you guys out there hope you are doing fabulously well so um if it's your first time seeing this video just make sure you subscribe already and if you think okay you find this video a little bit uh, helpful just give me a thumbs up and if you don't find it great just keep your thumbs to yourself <laughs> okay so um a lot of you out there Oh, got in touch with me you know you were asking me because you saw a couple of my videos and you were asking me how I keep this area this flat all right so tonight I decided you know you know let me share what I do you know with you it might work or might not work with you I don't know but then it don't hurt nobody if you tried it so um as you can see I am not a small person okay I am fat I know it, <laughs> but I try my best to keep my belly as flat as I can. I love food, all right? I, I don't care what I eat, all right? I would eat whatever I want to eat, whatever I feel like eating, I would eat it. But then I do sometimes, you know, sometimes I do mind a little bit <laughs> just for the sake of this, all right? So um, what I do, I'm in China uh, for a couple of years now and I've been watching these people and they are healthy, as healthy as hell, okay? Sometimes it's not even funny. You look at them, you look at this tiny person, you're like, what the, don't you eat? And then you see them eating, all right? When you see those round table of them, you know, those revolving tables, it always filled up with food, all right? But then they just small. It's like they don't get fat. And um, that's because they know what to eat and what time to eat it. So uh, I got a nutrition and she's the one that, you know, helps me with my diet. I don't really have a diet per se. I don't really follow a diet. But then I just do a couple of stuff to make sure that this stays like this and plus my man you know he loves all the curves <laughs> and he was specific and said that you know what Diane you can lose whatever you want to lose but keep this area that area and that intact do not touch <laughs> so I do my best not to you know touch the area just keep it as voluminous as it is but then try to you know I'll keep the belly flat so um I don't wear any waist trainers or any corset or whatever you call it uh, I don't know but I, I never worn it before like never ever in my life um I just you know I don't believe in them but I, I don't know it might have worked for other people but I just um don't wear those so um, what I do is I make sure that I have three meals a day, like my breakfast and on lunch and dinner, okay? But then for breakfast, I eat whatever I want to eat, right? And then for lunch, I also eat whatever I want to eat. Like today I had pig feet. <laughs> It was yummy. It was delicious, but I'm sorry. It, it was good. <laughs> okay, and um, what I, I mind a lot is in the evening because in the evening your metabolism just slows down. Okay, it prepares the body to sleep and you know all that. It slows down. So whatever you eat in the evening doesn't really get digested somehow. It stays in there, and whatever that's not digested is stored as fat and for ladies we are born with a fat layer under our belly like fatter than guys because i think because we carry babies in our bellies and you know the womb gotta be warm and homey for the unborn you know protect them against the cold and whatever so we have a thick layer of fat already underneath the skin uh, on this area and whatever you don't 
digest, get stored as fat. So you already know where some of those fat, I mean, some of that fat goes. Here, all right. So um, in the evening, make sure that you eat very, very little, all right. And sometimes, like, I couldn't really go to the bathroom for number two. I mean, I, I would go to the bathroom for number two, but then, you know, when you have the feeling that you did not release everything, that you still got something in there, you know? So it used to happen to me a lot. But then ever since I started really minding what I eat in the evening, I eat things that would help me digest, okay? That will help with my digestion and it'll help me, you know, eliminate those unwanted stuff that's in there all right so breakfast because i don't really want to lose weight so i eat whatever i want to eat it's a full non yard all right i will go <laughs> with egg and bacon or whatever you know or whatever i want to eat for breakfast i would eat it and for lunch like i said i had big feet today I'm not really proud of it, but I, I don't really care because I don't really want to lose the weight. But then some of the fat are really, really hard to digest, all right? So if you had that heavy lunch and then you want to have a heavy dinner, then that's bad. All right, so what I do at night, at night I mostly uh, have like a smoothie, okay? fruits but then i choose my fruits like really really good like i choose the fruits that will help me digest and that will help me eliminate the things that i had consumed the whole day the next day all right so in the evening for dinner i do have a milkshake like mostly i have bananas and apples because bananas you know they help you with the defecating stuff, okay, number two, <laughs> they help you with it, and the apple, like, you know, it's acidic, so it'll pop, break down whatever that was not broken down earlier, so that you could easily eliminate it the next day, all right, so that's what I do, and ever since I started doing that, and because it's, I think it's flavorless, so what I do is I add little nuts in there, mostly peanuts. Fat people like unhealthy stuff. <laughs> I'm not saying peanuts are unhealthy, but amongst the nuts, peanuts are fatty. But really, really yummy. <laughs> so I add a couple of nuts in there, you know, to just give it the extra flavor. Alright, so that's what I do every night. So if you wanna like you want to lose weight you could substitute like one of your meals or two of your meals with that like preferably lunch you can have your milkshake for lunch and dinner and then you have a really really good breakfast because i mean we all know that breakfast is the the the, the what how'd you say it is the healthiest or the most important meal of the day that you should not uh, skip it blah 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 yeah you should not skip breakfast because actually it's the most important meal of the day it kickstarts your metabolism and you know all that stuff so you gotta eat your breakfast so eat a good 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 breakfast then you can uh, have your shake for for lunch and dinner and then you're going to slim down I don't want to slow down, so that's why I only do that in the evening. And after I do that, the next day, I am sure to go to the bathroom. And when I go to the bathroom, everything comes out. Like, everything comes out. Okay, so, and then every time when I go to the bathroom, I finish my stuff, you know, I do my business, I'm done. And I bend down, I can see my whole vajayjay. Because that's how I know that, you know, my belly is as fat as I want it to be. Like, if it's not, when I look down, I don't see my vajayjay. Like, I see just a little bit. But then, when I see the full of it, I know that I'm on the good. <laughs> Alright, so the milkshake. 
you eat it at night all right i mean for dinner of course and it will it helps with the belly you can see that i've got a tiny waistline it's also genetic uh, i should be truthful but it's all tiny <laughs> that's what i do and i don't really have time to exercise so i take the stairs wherever i, I, I can like um at the metro instead of taking the escalator i take the stairs and my apartment i live on the 15th floor i do take the stairs as well like not all the way like i'll stop on the seventh or sixth floor or eighth floor <laughs> but not all the way because you know i don't really want to lose weight i just want to stay healthy <laughs> and then health is good so yeah that's what i do so milkshake guys banana apples and you know you can do um oh if you want to like eliminate toxins and stuff really really quick you could do a mixture of watermelon and apples and um pineapples okay that's that's really really good i did that and kiwi fruit oh kiwi fruit is good i did a mixture like that and immediately i had to run to the bathroom and it was good because <laughs> whatever you don't eliminate is stored as fat all right <laughs> so if you found this video helpful thumbs up and subscribe guys come on be nice subscribe so that you can hear more about you know what you want to hear and if you got any suggestion you want me to try something out for you or you want me to help you somehow just let me a comment and i will try to answer you don't forget subscribe 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 and keep the belly flat <laughs> yeah it's really good on your belly it's flat you know you can wear whatever you want to wear and you look nice and sexy i mean it depends whatever is sexy for you okay it doesn't really matter it's what you want it's always about what you want if you think you're good that way it's okay you're good all right guys so that was it for today and see you next time subscribe and thumbs up all right